because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Colin McGuigan for AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined with Kurt Walker at the public work right here in Belfast. Kurt, obviously being home special for you. You've been home there, your last few fights, you fought in Galway. How big is this fight week though? Um, definitely the biggest one, you know, Mick challenging for the world title. What an opportunity for everyone on the card and, and for Colin Boxing as well. It's, it's massive and I, I can't wait for it. You, you work closely with Mick in the gym. You've been a part of his camp this time around. You always are. What's he been like to be around and does that spur you on that extra bit? Yeah, brilliant. We live together, we eat together, we play our games together online and we do everything together. This is the best I've seen him. Mentally, strength wise, speed, technical, everything, you know, he's, he's the best he's been. So really the only thing you don't do is sleep together? That's it, huh? <laughs> In terms of this fight for you, another step up, another tough, durable opponent, what can we expect to see from Kurt Walker on Saturday night? Um, I'm just going out to try and Watch my last fight back, a few things I did well, a few things I did not so well, so I'm just going to try and improve. I've been improving every fight and I've had different styles of opponents every fight, which is good and I've learned every time, so at this stage it's just for me to continue learning. Let's bring your head coach, HN. Who's here for Iqbal? How good's Kurt been in this camp? Kurt's been excellent. I think we've had, we've had good continuity from the last one. It's been nice that we've had a quick turnaround time from the last one. Massive shout out to Conlon Boxkin and Jamie for that. Um, and Kurt, Kurt for getting straight back into the gym, do you know what I mean? He's, he's not been messing around. He's... Since you took over the head coach role of Kurt, how good has he been in the gym and what can we expect to see from Kurt Walker on Saturday night? God willing, inshallah. Obviously the kid that he's up against, Colombian kid, he's, he's, he's tough, he's very negative, doesn't, doesn't do much, are you with me? So ideally everyone Kurt steps in with would like to either try things that we've been working on in the gym or, or stop them, are you with me? I, I, I think Kurt deserves a stoppage, so hopefully Kurt gets a stoppage this, this fight, if it's there. But like I said, the, the main thing for him right now, whilst at this time in his career, with all the things that are going to help mould him to become an elite fighter. Um, little, little things that I've been working on every time. Take, take the negatives from the last fight, work on them, practice on them, and then see, see him hold centering a little bit more this, this time around. Be sharp on his shots, are you with me? And add more tricks to his game. I'll ask you this first, then I'll ask Kurt. By the end of 2023, where do you want to see this man? That's a question for Jamie, but whatever, whatever, whatever's presented to us, inshallah, um, we'll be ready, do you know what I mean? Obviously, Kurt's got the option as well of going to getting, the, getting the British title, going down that route. His, his options are, are, are open and, and in all honesty, he's in some of the best hands. So the, they'll direct him and push him in, in the best way, do you know what I mean? Kurt, that same question to you. A lot's been spoken about maybe that Isaac Lowe fight. Jamie said he welcomes it. Is it something you welcome? Yeah, whoever wants it, they can get it. <laughs> nah, whatever Jamie says, I, I'm all right. I'll definitely have a title by the end of the year, so I'll even like to do my own show by the end of the year here in Belfast, maybe somewhere like the Austin Hall or something, but I'll be up to 10 rounds fighting for titles by December. Your stable mate, Mick, in the fight of his life on Saturday night, how do you think that goes for Mick? I think a, a late stoppage or else a wide points win for Michael. Describe how he's been in camp and how hard he's worked in the gym for this fight. Like I said earlier, um, as hard as I've ever seen him, as focused as I've ever seen him, there's been no no cheating done, no snack, and no no anything to give a bit of doubt in his mind. So he's he's fully committed to it. Is it for last one for you? How do you see this going on Saturday night with Mick Conlon? Inshallah, I think Mick stops him. Mick stops him. Overhand left, boom, over the top. Just like the wood in the early rounds. Mick's been impeccable. Mick's been impeccable. Like I said, of all the fight weeks, this is my most favourite fight week. Are you with me? I've not only ever got Kurt on the card, you got Min Mick on main event. Inshallah, man, there's no man who deserves it more. There's no man who deserves it more than Mick Conlon, man. And I hope that he does it for himself, for his hometown, for all the Irish people. I hope he does it, man. He's definitely holding it down for the Pakistanis. So, <laughs> shout out Mick Conlon, you understand? Thank you very much for your time, lads. Appreciate it. Bye. because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. 
Right, the bouncer's kelping. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 